Sorry, I didn't see you there. Do you know what today is? Random Wednesday! Hey, all my feathered friends. Welcome back to the nest. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Raven and I'm on a journey to lose a bunch of weight. A hundred plus pounds to be exact. I guess that's not really exact, is it? Just a hundred plus pounds. Um, this is another episode of Random Wednesday. And Random Wednesday is just a time that I choose just a bunch of random things to put out on my channel. It could be box openings, it could be me trying something new to work out uh, or fitness wise. It could just be something uh, to ramble about. It could be related to my own fitness or not. Uh, the other thing it could most likely be about is wrestling because that is one of my favorite things. <laughs> but I thought that this episode of Random Wednesday, I would kind of go over my September goals with you guys, especially since my outro on my last check-in video was not very good because I was not feeling very good at all. Do you guys keep hearing that tweeting? We have a stupid fire alarm, this tweet, and because it's going out and I can't reach it and I have to wait for the husband to wake up because he does not like me to climb up on things because I don't have very good balance. <laughs> so please try and ignore the forever tweets <laughs> that are happening. Um, Anyway, since I was not feeling very well in that last check-in video for my outro, and I couldn't really talk to you guys much, I thought I would do this random Wednesday to kind of go over what I want for my September. Um, I really feel good about September. I feel like September is just going to be a winning month for me. I want it to be my best month yet, um, both in uh, fitness, in food. Um, I want to be able to prove myself on the scale, even though I know the scale is not really my worth. Uh, I still need to see that number go down because, well, you know, because I'm over 300 pounds and that is just not, it's not good. Um, I also want to be able to share more things on this channel with you guys. Uh, so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. I would love for you guys to give me suggestions on what you guys would love to see in my channel. And it could it could be anything from fitness that you'd like to see to food you'd like to have me test out for you to um, if you guys want to have me, I don't know, do a 10 things about me kind of video or a Q&A or whatever it is. Just leave comments below. I would love to do that. Um, and also, if you have any suggestions for a random Wednesday, I am open for that. Um, so I'm just going to make Wednesday the most winning month yet. That is just the plan. That is how I feel inside about it. Uh, it's really going to be kicking off fall well um, because it has to. Because, <laughs> I mean, it just has to. Um, I have been ready this whole time to be doing well, and I have been trying, but I know I can do more, I can put in more, and so that's what we're going to go for. We're going to go for more, and we are going to have a success successful kickoff to fall. It's going to be great. And uh, so what I did was I wrote down some of my goals for you guys to see and help keep me accountable because you guys are going to get to track it along with me, okay? So, here's my September goals. I don't know how well you guys can see that. So, my first goal is food journal daily with no excuses. And that means I don't care if I am not feeling well or I have a stomach bug like I did this last weekend. I need to journal anyway. So, even with that stomach bug I, and I don't eat anything, I need to put that in the journal. Like, sick, didn't eat. I need to touch this journal every day and write in it. And this is the new journal that I showed off previously. 
And so far, I have done pretty good at journaling in it. Let's see. So, so far, I've done pretty good at keeping things in the journal. I don't want to go too far past the days where I'm at. <laughs> um, I still have to complete yesterday. But that's what I mean. Like, I should have had yesterday already completed by the end of yesterday. But, you can see, I think I tried to put, you know, not feeling well. Because I'm trying to already start that. Um, so, I need to make sure, no excuses, I fill this bad boy out daily. And put everything in it, good, bad, ugly, whatever. It needs to go in there so I can be tracking accurately what I am doing. So, that's a September goal. Another September goal is get in my gallon of water daily. I was being really, really good at that. And then we got really super busy. And even though the water was right next to me, or actually kind of behind me a little bit, uh, the way my office is set up, uh, for some reason, I stopped grabbing it as much. I don't know why, but I have Bertha here. This is Bertha and she is a gallon of water and I need to drink one of these a day. Usually when I first get up in the morning, I, uh, before I even sit up and get out of bed, I roll over, turn off my alarm. I'm just up on the elbow and I drink 16 ounces of water before I get up and do anything. Rehydrate my brain, and set things off, get get going that way. Then fill up Bertha here and throughout the day drink her. I like to try my goal daily is to like have this gone by 7 p.m. Um, and so my husband will tease me if I hit 8 or 9 and I'm only just finishing it telling me how late I am. Uh, but that is my goal is to quit letting busy life interfere with my ability to get in my water because I need to get in my water. It is very vitally important as a human and in this um, ability to be fit and healthy that I get in my stinking water. So no excuses, just do it. So my next goal is lunch prep. So as I've talked about recently, uh, being busy has kept me from prepping my lunch, even though there's no good excuse for that, because I have an entire weekend that I can prep my lunch for the next week. So why am I allowing being busy to stop me from that? There's no excuse for that. That's just dumb. So stop that. And uh, <laughs> Fit Girls Rock, I was looking at her Facebook page, and uh, one thing that she did suggest was uh, prepping twice a week, so like Sunday and Wednesday, I think it was, or Sunday and Thursday. Uh, I'll have to go back and reference that again. But that way, you're only prepping for a couple days at a time. It doesn't feel so overwhelming during prep time, and um, you kind of have that little break, and you don't have to worry about your food, like feeling like your food is going bad or soft or mushy or whatever. Whatever might be going through your mind to make that um, a deal breaker for you to meal prep. Uh, so I kind of want to put that into practice as well as constantly getting that planning in, purchasing uh, consciously according to what I want very purposefully and getting that prep done. There are no excuses for not prepping. I need to be able to grab my lunch and just go because if I'm just left up to my own devices, I am going to make uh, mistakes. I'm going to choose the wrong things or too much or whatever. And I know that and I need to just set myself up for success. So meal prep daily and probably even for the weekends because I know that weekends can be very, very hard. That's when we want to go off whatever we've been doing because it's like okay I've done so well over the week I got this or I've done so well over the week I can do whatever over the weekends and I don't want to be that person because I don't want the weekend to screw up everything I've been doing over the week so if I can lunch prep proper I know that I can get dinner under control that's never really been a serious issue I know there's days that dinner can be an issue um, especially since I live with a person who is not uh, worried about their food intake or what they're eating um, and things like that 
but I, you know, do moderation if we're having something that's maybe not necessarily as healthy. Um, and other times I just try and make sure that what we're prepping is healthy or as healthy as I can get him <laughs> to eat. I've never been too worried about dinner where my biggest mess up always is, is lunch and snacking. So, so far I've been proud of myself for the snacking area. It's the lunch part that I've been struggling with. So, lunch prep. All right, um, answer my Fit Girls Rock question. I shared that question in another video and that was, um, especially during this busy time, what is the smallest five to 10 minute action I can do toward my goal? So I need to make sure to answer that question daily and then fulfill that uh, answer daily. I think that's an important thing. That's why I hung it up in the gym uh, right when I walk in the door. I can see that every day. Um, and then get in my September challenge exercise with no excuses. So that means no excuses, no matter what. So even if my shoulders bother me, modify. If my foot is bothering me, modify. I mean, even if what I have to do <clears throat> is just do it from a chair, do it just uh, uh, slow with hardly any reps or whatever, I still need to be active and do it. Um, I know that people will say don't do things if you're sick or injured, but I still think that you need some kind of movement because that's how your body is pushing out toxins, that's how your body is helping you to heal. Um, I may not have to do it hard or fast or anything like that if I am sick or injured, uh, but I plan not to be sick or injured, just dealing with the same stuff I've been dealing with. Um, but I don't, I don't want there to be excuses. I don't want to give myself excuses. I want to be able to get in the fitness I know that I need to make my body strong and healthy. And speaking of the September challenge, I've got um, in this little jar because I couldn't decide I mean I have fitness marshal I wanted to do I have the body groove I wanted to do uh, my sister had suggested this a fit girls challenge with this 28 day jump start and I really want to do that um, there's uh, people on the internet are talking about Chloe, the Chloe Ting challenge and I'm like I don't know what I want to do so since I couldn't decide I put them all in this jar and I thought I would just go ahead and pick one out. You guys could witness it and see what the September challenge will be. Let's see. Okay. I don't want you guys to think I'm cheating here. So. It is. Oh my gosh. Somehow I knew this was going to happen to me. Because I hate yoga, but yet it ended up in there. DDP yoga. So, for those of you who don't, don't know, DDP is a wrestler, was a wrestler uh, back in the day, Diamond Dallas Page. He has his own yoga now, and uh, it's like fitness yoga. And uh, so I will have to go and purchase that. And then uh, I guess September is... DDP yoga. If maybe somebody's trying to tell me something. I know my flexibility is horrible. <laughs> so, but I picked it. That's my challenge. I got to get that in no matter what. And that doesn't mean I can't get in other workouts too, um, which I plan on doing. Uh, but that is my September <laughs> challenge. Somehow I knew. I don't even know why I put that in there. I was just like, I don't know. I feel like it's something I should try. It's just going in there and somehow I knew that was gonna be what I picked out <laughs> Okay, um, and then The last thing on my goal list is me time at least twice this month and that could be massage nails hair Whatever just twice this month do something that is just taking care of me and making me feel good for myself because I feel like a lot of times we forget to self-care and I don't want to forget that. I don't want to forget that I am special and that I need to self-care and just take care of mind, body, and soul. 
So um, I am trying to get in my Bible and prayer time every day. I'm trying to do this weight loss journey and, and feel good there. But then I also need to take care of me in other spaces so that my mind is taken care of as well so that I feel good about me. Uh, so massages are good for that, you know, getting my nails done are good for that, you know, just something that makes me feel special. So I know I'm very good at ignoring myself. I know other people, you know, you might be very good at ignoring yourself. Uh, so many people out there are good at that. Um, so I'm going to make that a goal this month, at least twice this month. Could be more, but at least twice. I need to make sure to take care of me and do something special just for myself and uh, maybe even take you guys along with me so you can see that I did it and did that goal. So that's this episode of Random Wednesday letting you guys know about my goals. We're going to go ahead just real quick go back over it one more time. We've got the food journaling daily with no excuses. Get in my gallon of water daily so we've got Bertha for that. Uh, lunch prep, uh, we might even try that twice a week instead of just one time and see if that's helpful. Answer my Fit Girls Rock question that's over on the wall. Getting in my September challenge exercise with no excuses, even though it is yoga and yoga and me don't always get along. And <laughs> me time at least twice this week, whether it be massage, nails, hair, pedicures, whatever it might be. So last September we are gonna make it the best September ever and uh, let's see tomorrow is September 1st so I gotta get on that DDP yoga <laughs> purchase today because we're gonna start on the first hit the ground running by the time you guys see this um, we will have had September for a couple of days now and uh, we'll be doing some check-ins on all of this so don't forget to comment below with anything else that you want to see um, any suggestions that you have I want to hear them all and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon if you want to know every time I upload uh, like this video share this video and let's get on this September journey together guys all right let's do it uh, remember to take care of yourselves take care of each other love yourselves love each other and I thank you so much for stopping by the nest today. You all mean the world to me. And until next time.